What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best live stream settings in OBS Studio. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So of course we have OBS opened up right now and the first thing I'm going to do is head over to settings. Now if you remember last video, I showed you how to set up the stream key. If you haven't seen it yet or you don't know how to do it, simply click the video in the description or on screen right now. So now we're going to head over to output. Now where it says output mode, by default it should be on simple. If it is, then change it to advanced. Now you want to make sure you're on the streaming tab and that is what I'm going to be showing you today. And as you'll see, there's audio track here, which means we have the ability to insert different or up to four audio tracks while streaming. So one audio track, because of, of course, can be your notifications or notification sounds. The other one could be music in the background. For the encoder, you want to make sure it is X264, nothing else, definitely stick with this one. Make sure you have checked Enforce Streaming Service Encode Settings. Now where it says Rescale Output, check this, and we're actually going to change this to 1280 by 720 and I'm going to get into that right now. I know there's going to be a lot of people thinking, why would you downscale it from 1920 by 1080 to 720? Now to be honest, there's not much of a difference. And with 1080, you need a certain bitrate. And that bitrate is not supported by Twitch. The bitrate on Twitch, you can only go to 3,500 and you need close to about 10,000 bitrate. So this is why I say stick to 720. You're still gonna have a nice clear HD stream. And to be honest with uh, 1080, is not gonna mean much difference. Onto the next one where it says rate control, make sure it is selected as CBR. For the bitrate, you can go between 3000 to 3500. Completely up to you. I'm going to go with about 3250 because it's in between. You can use custom buffer size. This is completely up to you depending on your internet. The keyframe intervals will be set to 2. And now we get onto the CPU usage. So if we click this, as you'll see, we'll be presented with all of these. Now, the slower you pick, the better the stream's going to be. Now you can't just go off and choose pace bow or very slow or slower. You need to make sure you have a very very high end PC for these settings. So I would recommend very fast and faster for most people. If you do have an older CPU it is no problem you can go to super fast and ultra fast. Of course the quality won't be as good as it could but it's still good. So very fast or faster is what I recommend. I'm going to stick with very fast for this. You want to change the profile from none to main, the tune you can leave the same, and now where it says X264 options, you want to put here open CL equals true. Now what this does, it opens or helps the GPU code your stream. So now you can just select apply, and now we're going to head over to audio. So you need to make sure everything is actually set up for your stream. For example, the desktop audio. Make sure it is selected to whatever your desktop audio is. So if you're playing a game, of course you want the game audio to be playing. So for me, my desktop audio is this one right here. Some of you may have the same, some of you may not. So this is where my gameplay comes out of. And where it says mic auxiliary audio, this is of course my microphone and I'm using a Rode Podcaster and it says it right there, so I would select that. So now we have our microphone set up along with the desktop audio. From there we're going to head over to hotkeys and this is where we're going to be finishing off. So now onto the hotkeys, this is very important or very useful and as you can see it says start streaming and stop streaming. Now if you don't know what hotkeys are, hotkeys allow you to press something on your keyboard and this will enable an action in OBS. And for the example, this is going to be enabling how to start a stream and to stop a stream. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to do shift and S like that. I then put that plus button in, all I done was click the shift S and that is how it comes out. Now the S for me stands for start, so shift and S means it's going to start the stream. And I'm also going to do the exact same for stopping the stream as well. So when I want to start, I press shift and S, when I want to stop, I press shift and S. Easier to remember so you don't have to use different things all the time, you can just stay with the same things. Now if you come down, you will see all of your scenes here. 
Now at the moment I only have the scene live stream set up and as you can see it is right here. But if you do have different streams or different scenes then you can switch between them. So as you can see switch to scene. So for example if you want to switch to the live stream again we can do shift and L and that tells us it's shift and L to get onto the live stream scene. And what this does, it just makes it much more quicker so we don't have to go onto OBS, click the stream itself. We can just simply go shift now on our keyboard and it will change to this setting or this scene. Then of course here you have desktop audio. Again, you can set up how you want to mute it. You can do a push to mute, a push to talk and the exact same with your microphone. Now from there, you're all set up. So you can select apply and okay. And now what we're going to do is actually start streaming. So I'm going to press, actually I'm going to use Shift and S because that is our um, stream shortcut. So Shift and S. As you'll see, we are now live streaming. It says stop streaming right here. And you'll notice right here it says mic or AUX and then desktop audio. So of course this is my microphone. And then this right here is the desktop audio. Currently have it muted, but I can just unmute it for now. And then of course, when we want to stop the stream, again, Shift S was our shortcut. As you'll see at the bottom right, it says stopping stream. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully this video has helped you. And if you haven't checked out my other OBS tutorials just yet, you can check them out in the description. I've done it in an order where each tutorial, you're going to be able to progress into a better stream. So hopefully you like the way I'm doing it. But in the next OBS tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the best OBS studio settings when you are recording. So this isn't for live stream, this is when you are recording. And like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this tutorial has helped you. Please subscribe, rate and peace.